the series is back, and it is the perfect jumping in point for anyone who loves sci-fi, immersive worlds, and of course, Halo. So stick around for exclusive sneak peeks, interviews with the cast and creative team, and so much more. What's up everyone, and welcome to this special edition of Halo the Series Declassified. I'm Sydney Goodman, and I'll be your host for this deep dive into Halo's epic second season. In this special presentation, we'll explore the action to come in season two, uncover behind the scenes secrets, and I'll chat with executive producer, Kiki Wolfkill, and the Master Chief himself, Pablo Schreiber. Before we get into all that, if you've never seen Halo the series before, need a refresher on season one, or just wanna relive all the action, I have the perfect thing for you a one-of-a-kind recap of the first nine episodes. Check it out. The Spartans are our only effective weapons against the Covenant. They're faster, stronger, smarter. They just keep on killing. I don't think the situation today is different. I am different. Something you need to know about the Spartan program. What they did to us, it's only permanent if we choose to let it be. Hello, Dr. Halsey. I'm Cortana. My directive is to integrate fully with the Master Chief. And in time, you will do that. I've seen what Covenant weapons are capable of. Entire planets turned to glass. We've been fighting these alien creatures for years, and we still have no idea what they want. Covenant forces appear to be excavating. <laughs> Only thing we took Sacred ring. Halo. So it's a weapon? Tell me why I should trust you. We are the same. talking about humankind's first incursion into Covenant-controlled space. We can do it, ma'am. We belong here. Stay with me, Tom. No, no! Take over my body. I told you I may not be able to bring you back. It's the only way. Find the halo. Win the war. There is something within us. In humans, something worth protecting. There will be a reckoning. It's a new season for Halo the series with a huge emphasis on new. There are new battles to be fought, new challenges for our heroes to confront, new allies to join them, and new enemies to face. We've put together a little glimpse of what you can expect in Halo's sophomore season. The Halo story has, uh, season two, it's a, it's a broader, bigger, wider universe, right? It's absolutely massive. Which is one of the things that has always appealed to me about Halo and the franchise of Halo. There's a lot of highlights from season two. <laughs> well, we start off season two a little bit after the events of season one. The state of the world is quite different. Our goal in making this season was to take this epic world that season one built and then look at it through this really subjective lens of our characters. Um, and that is true not just for our, our storytelling and from a writing perspective, it informs the way we use the camera. This season, what's different for me in the action is the way that we're shooting it. For instance, in combat, we want to be with our soldiers. You know, we're, we're moving. We're not seeing the entire battlefield. You see, we're in that fog of war. We're using a lot of handheld. It's very inside of the action rather than big wide shots where you see everything. Uh, it, it puts you in the middle of it. Sometimes we'll just glimpse some sangheili armor in the fog or catch the glimmer of an eye, um, but we don't always see them until they're right on top of us. It feels very visceral. It feels very evocative. It feels, um, it feels like you're in the battle. Puts you inside of the battle. And actually, often the reactions are real because you're just in the midst of it all. And it was just so exciting to shoot. It really was. It felt real a lot of the time. There was a, 
multiple moments where we've had to do things that we have never done before, um, both with camera and performance together. I think it's made for some um, really immediate and kinetic uh, storytelling. So I say there's so many moments in this season that are truly going to surprise the audience. I think we have more characters. It's an honor. We have more action. We have more special effects, more pyro, and uh, more backup. <laughs> I think fans can look forward to a season that will feel incredibly authentic. Everyone is so passionate, um, cast and crew, and so it's so nice to come to work when it's like that because everyone really cares. What? Yeah! <laughs> After the break, I'll talk to Halo the Series executive producer Kiki Wolfkill and star Pablo Schreiber. So stick around, you won't want to miss it. I'm here with Halo the Series executive producer Kiki Wolfkill and the Master Chief himself, Pablo Schreiber. Hi guys, welcome back to Declassified. In person, we get to be here. We in finally person made it to the time. bunker. I love hey. it. Yeah, it's right. <laughs> yeah. So extra special welcome. So Halo the Series is back, season two. How are you both feeling about it now that it's like about to hit the world? Feeling great. Feeling yeah. fantastic. You know, it's uh, it's uh, a huge operation to put it on. <laughs> Kiki can tell you more about certainly. So in terms of time and energy spent, being able to share it with people is a massive moment. And part of it's also knowing like the giant crew who worked on the show, everyone who was involved finally gets to see the finished, right? It's so different from when you start shooting to once you get through all of VFX and posts. So just really excited to share it. For those who may not remember where we left off last season, tell us a bit about where the world of Halo and the Master Chief are at the end of season one. Well, at the end of season one, um, Chief had given over his consciousness to Cortana. She was controlling him through the suit. Uh, so in season two, we pick up uh, a little bit down the road, a little bit of a time jump, and we're gonna learn as the season rolls out um, what has happened in the time between when we cut and when we come back. Yeah, I think we're about six months after the events of season one, and I think the thing that you'll probably feel the most is how far the war has progressed, right? So humanity really feels like it's on its back foot when we come into season two. The biggest difference between season one and season two is the tone. Um, and there's a darker tone to it. The, the fighting and the action sequences feel like you're more a part of them. You're in, in the action a lot more. And a lot of that was, was due to the new additions of people that were brought in through the art department and through the stunt department. Uh, and a lot of those changes, I think, made it feel quite different. My excitement for season two is off the charts. And Kiki, I understand that you took us on a tour of the set um, at Corda Studios over in Budapest, Hungary. So let's check that out. Hi, I'm Kiki Wolfkill. I am an executive producer here on the Halo TV series. We're here at Corda Studios, stage five. I think we have a few exciting things to show you. Come on in. This is the amazing thing on stage five. Our Covenant Corvette set, which has been an extraordinary effort to build. Block four director, the fabulous Denny Gordon. You came to see a This is one of our recently slain Sangheili here on the floor. Part of our stunt team, Sangheili reference. We have another Spartan somewhere around here. Kate Good Kennedy, time. say hello to the camera. Hi, everybody. Season two is going to be very intense. It's been a pleasure being able to make this show for all of you, and we're super excited for you to see it. So thank you. Bye. Well, it sounds like there's a lot waiting for us in season two, but what would you like to say to maybe someone who hasn't seen an episode of Halo the series yet and why they should check it out? The beautiful thing about sci-fi is it really lets you tell stories that feel relatable and contemporary, but do it with all of the world building and wonder that comes with seeing the future, mm -hmm. right? So I think it's the sci-fi of it, it's the incredible action of it, um, but also, you know, the, the really very character-driven stories um, against that backdrop. It comes from, you know, 
to 343 and Microsoft's credit, um, an amazingly rich and vast library of lore that has been painstakingly thought out and, and put out over the years. So to have that kind of rich canvas to draw from and tell new stories and adjacent stories in is just a really amazing luxury to have. Sounds like season two really has a lot in store for us. Uh, so without spoiling anything, what can fans look forward to in season two? At the center of the season um, is a really sort of momentous Halo event. You know, we lead into it um, with a lot of mystery and come out of it with sort of dealing with the impact of those events. You know, we, we've taken some risks in the past and continue to do so in, um, in our storytelling, but we do it from a place where uh, we hope the fans will enjoy being able to see these characters, being able to see them come to life in different ways and really telling these sort of rich character stories with them in situations that they experience differently from the games. Um, and that's been creatively scary, but also exciting for us. Kiki, Pablo, thank you both so much for coming on Declassified. I doubt this will be the only time that we see you um, this season, but thanks for coming by. Thank you, appreciate Thank it. Thank you. My name is Joseph Morgan, and I play James Ackerson in Halo Season 2. I'm here because I believe in you. I played Halo, Halo 2, Halo 3, Halo 4, uh, co-op with my friend. And then, you know, when I got offered the role, I thought it was my due diligence to play through Halo Reach, just to make sure I'd done my research. Halo was huge when I was growing up, so uh, everybody was playing it, and it was, uh, it was kind of revolutionary. There's more Halo the Series Declassified coming up, so stick around. Spartans are back in the armor. Here's a special look at what's in store for Silver Team and the actors behind the suits. We're back. Back in armor. Back for season two, baby. But I'm ready, man. I'm ready to rock and roll. And we're not built to sit around and wait. Basically, yeah, we did pick up from season one. It felt a bit like season one was the first year of high school, and then you break for the summer break, and then you come back and you kind of like know everybody, you know the school, you know the layout. Season two, familiar cast, familiar crew, familiar studios, back with the family. It's a major event for everybody involved. Go! One thing that we all noticed about each other, right, was there was a little bit of anxiety because we knew we had to get in the armor. But the good part is we all trained because we had about nine months between seasons. It was great, actually, because it's really set the tone for the second season. I think this season, unlike things that you might have seen in season one, there's a lot more practical running in the suits, a lot more speed when she's... I think what you have to consider is most of our action are done in suits. There was a lot of work that was done with them in between seasons. It's an evolution of the season one design. They're less restrictive. I think the biggest difference is the look of them. And they've got loads of new kind of intricate detailing and nice textures. And I think they look really impressive. They did a lot of work to make it more comfortable. New armor, shiny, flexible. They're still not pajamas. <laughs> a lot of big effects around the suits this season. Try to stay focused on the mission. I'm Pablo Schreiber. I play the Master Chief, John 117. Pablo's incredible. Incredible. Everyone knows the Master Chief. I don't, do I need more of an introduction than that? <laughs> it's been exciting to have another opportunity to bring the Halo universe to life. Lots of debris and dust and sparks, and you gotta be comfortable with loud explosions. And, uh, and you gotta get bloody. He's very patient. Sometimes he has to be there for quite some time, having all of these injuries applied to him. Pablo's a beast. He does some pretty amazing things in sequence. I think the fans are gonna be truly excited for what's in store for them. The Chief is solid. He's the best we've got. There's a lot 
more Halo the Series Declassified to come, including a special Season 2 trailer. So don't go anywhere. Welcome back. One of my favorite parts of... Wait. There we go. Just wanted to match the vibe a little more. One of my favorite parts of Halo the series is how the creative team behind the show have built the world or worlds of the 26th century. Here's a glimpse behind the curtain as a massive group of talented artists combine visual effects, special effects, production design, art direction, set design, makeup and props to bring 500 years in the future to the present. And this is one of Soren's crew's actual spacesuits. This is a big television show. Take one. We have, in my opinion, the finest crew on the planet. I'll forever be in awe of them. It's been a total Iron Man marathon. They've worked so hard. The costume guys, you know, I had the best time. I could not have higher praise for our crew and our departments, not only because of their sheer skill, but also just the passion. Just to create a single sequence in our show requires hair, makeup, prosthetics that have probably never been done before. I think the most important thing is team and having a great department of really skilled, dedicated artists. And I got that on this show. And that has to work with our costumes, which we've made, I think, 4,000. We sort of narrow them down to looks that we really love and how the costume comes together in the environment that these characters are in, especially on the production design, which is phenomenal, and all the props. So we really come together as a team to make sure that all of our looks are really fluid with one another. That's one of the exciting things about a show like this. Creatively, you actually have quite wide parameters. This is very much part of making everything belong together. It was very, very intense. Things were on a much bigger scale and, and pretty relentless at certain stages. We've used a lot of oneers, shots that are stitched together that feel like they're one big, long shot. A lot of continuous shots, which I have to say, this crew did such an incredible job of shooting it. Every take was high stakes and everybody was involved. All hands were on deck. Everybody came together to make sure that we got it right. And those have to work with the production design. I think we're sitting at 133 sets at this point. That was like an extreme sport version of what we usually do as an art department, because just because the amount that has to happen in quite a short space of time. We're on these huge sets that were just so intricately made. Those work with our stunt folks who have to create previs and rehearse on these sets and do the most radical things that I've ever seen. So what we have is a cohesive stunt team that understands not only stunts from the practical side, but storytelling. And we have a lot of SFX and pyro, which I think is, again, the most amazing I've ever seen. I had a plan and I built a plan so that we could actually get our principal actors in amongst everything that was going on. And we're doing some visual effects work on this show that's never been attempted before. You can imagine in a project of this scale, there needs to be a massive, massive collaboration. Constantly, our departments talk to each other to sort of figure out what is the best approach which will help us and will make those shots you know, exciting at the end. It's a massive undertaking by a lot of people who are really good at their jobs. They truly are elite craftspeople and filmmakers. Thank you for joining me for this unique preview of Halo the Series' gigantic second season. After you watch each episode, I hope you'll join me for Halo the Series Declassified, where we'll break down every episode of the new season. And before I go, I have one last sneak peek for you. Here's the official trailer for Halo the Series Season 2. People of Reach. I bring you blessings.
I look at your faces. I do not see defeat. No! And I do not see surrender. You will not make the stand alone. Something you are. Something you can't see. 